Hello Sagittarius, this is Renee and welcome back. Sagittarius, this is going to be your general reading for February. So let's get some energy, pull some energies for Sagittarius. What's going on with Sagittarius? This is for Sag, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So if you have Sagittarius anywhere on your chart, this reading is for you. Okay, we have death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. So I feel like something's ending. Or this is you going, had to... There's something that needs to be ended permanently, you know, and it doesn't, it doesn't mean life. It means there's something, some energy that's surrounding you that needs to be removed or you're transforming the situation. You know, you're changing into this new person. You're changing into this new energy. Because your second card out is happiness. I am aware that being happy means I can, I am on the right path. Exactly. So, definitely, I, whatever transformation you're going through, Sagittarius, I feel like it's something that was needed to put you in the right path, to put you in the right direction. Um... We also have health on the bottom. So there may be a need for you to really look at your health. Maybe if you're changing things about your health, um, becoming more spiritual at this time, really watching what you eat, um, those kind of, kind of things. But I really feel like it's going to be very beneficial for you to take a look at your health and you know notice the things that you're putting into your body. Okay, let's get some more energy for Sag. Yeah, we have healing energy. So you may have been sick for a time or you may have been dealing with some kind of health issue and now you're in that healing energy. Um, I feel like something is really coming around for you. Something is making a full turnaround. That could be your health. It could be it could be other areas of your life. At the bottom, we have blessings and abundance. Yes, Sagittarius, I feel like you are blessed beyond compare. You know, you have blessings flowing to you at this time. Okay, let's get some tarot for Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. For February. The King of Swords. Yeah, I'm really liking the King of Swords. And as, as I look at the energy, I feel like a lot of things are becoming clear for you. Wow, we have the King of Swords and the Emperor. So I feel like you're gaining truth and power. Wow, judgment. I feel like this is going to be a powerful reading, Sag. <laughs> the Chariot. Wow. The Ace of Swords. The Six of Wands. <laughs> the Ten of Cups. Well, when I when I seen that card, blessings and abundance, wow, <laughs> you are not joking. Blessings and abundance. And I feel like it's because you are taking control. And we have the moon card. Look at all these major arcanas here. We have the emperor, the judgment, the chariot, the moon, and happiness. There we go. You have two cards of happiness. At the bottom, we have the five of wands. So I feel like after a time of struggle, after a time of some kind of conflict, you are emerging as the butterfly. 
you know, you've wrapped yourself in, up in this cocoon. And now you um, are emerging, like, in this renewed energy. And, you know, we see that with this King of Swords energy and the Emperor. Wow. We have intelligent thoughts. We have power, authority, manifestations. You know, I feel like, you know, you've researched or you've really put in the work to obtain your control. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing, Sagittarius. You're taking control of the situation. You're finding truth. Um, you're finding support. You know, the King of Swords, he can also be very supportive. But he's also very logical. He's the thinker. He comes up with a plan. And the Emperor comes with the action. So we have planning. Strategic planning great thought and we have this action so whatever you have thought of whatever is flowing in your mind you know i feel like you're taking action on this situation and i feel like this situation is creating an overabundance um and i feel like with that overabundance you have happiness contentment you're finally feeling this healing Something is totally brand new. Something had to end in order for this happiness to come through. Something that just did not have you on the right path. You know? But sometimes spirit moves us. Things are abruptly stopped. You know, so that... You know, sometimes we it comes in the form of a tower. Sometimes it comes in the form of the death card or, you know, some kind of event that pushes us into the right direction. And I feel like that's exactly what this is. We have the judgment card and the chariot. So I feel like you are in this renewed spirit. You, you are gaining a full recovery. And I feel like it's it's much needed because I know that some things in the past months may have been a struggle. There may have been a challenge with this Five of Wands energy, you know. So I, I feel like after this big struggle, you have a total breakthrough. This is a breakthrough. This is you cutting your way into something brand new. You're exploring new chapters. You're feeling more balance. This sword is sticking straight up. It's totally balanced. But yet it's cutting through all the BS, cutting through all the mess, and it's cutting straight to what is important, straight to the truth, straight to the clarity of the situation. You know, um, with the the ace of swords this could be new ideas a new mental clarity this kind of bursting forward you know and i feel like this clarity this information is moving you into the right direction it's moving you into your success you've taken action and you may have had to change your course, you know, but I feel like you're you're moving into this destined place. You know, your your chariot can also be you going on this journey. And I feel like it's a new journey because I feel like you're making new discoveries. There's new information coming to you. You're having kind of epiphanies about certain situation. They're just coming to you. And it may be through your dreams. It may be through your awake thoughts. But I feel like the ideas are really flowing. 
That's the reason why we have this success and happiness. The Six of Wands is all about you being recognized for the work that you've done, being rewarded for all of your hard work. And the Ten of Cups, that's happiness, abundance, good health, being with friends and family. You know, that's total contentment, you know, being happy in the moment. With the Moon card, I feel like secrets have been revealed to you that have pointed you to the right path. As I'm looking at this card very closely, you see this lobster coming out of the water. He's emerging from the water. You know, that represents secrets that were left untold. But I, I, I feel like you're gaining those secrets. You know, you're unlocking those doors that were maybe once closed, that were kind of blocked off to you. You've You've emerged this butterfly. Hmm. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more for Sagittarius. Yeah, the... The Knight of Cups. Okay. Yeah, you may receive word. Someone's coming you, to you with an offer. This could be someone who wants to date you. This could be an optional love offer, but I'm really feeling like this is an offer that someone making you that you are going to love. This is something that is making you overjoyed in the situation and you are finding this very hard to resist. You know, the temperance is all about having patience, self-control, harmony, balance, you know, finding the flow. And I feel like there's someone who's going to come to you with an offer that's going to be very hard for you to resist. Um, it may be an offer for a job. It may be an offer for love. Um, take it as it resonates. See, what else do we have for Sagittarius? We have the Five of Wands again. Okay, so I feel like whatever offer this is that you can't resist, I feel like there's a lot of competition for this. Um, if it's in business, I feel like, you know, you were picked out of the majority, you know. I, I feel like this is something that's very competitive. This may be something that you're doing that there's a lot of competition in. Maybe you're opening a business that has a lot of other businesses around you that are doing the same thing, but you feel like you can do it better. Um, or if, if this is a love interest, this could be someone who's very attractive, very appealing, and there could be someone else who's very attractive to this person as well. But I do feel like this is competition. Um, but I feel like you have the upper hand. Yeah, we have the Two of Pentacles. You definitely have the upper hand. Because I feel like, I feel like in the end, the choice is yours, Sagittarius. I feel like whatever this offer is, you're going to feel like it's a gift. You're going to feel like it's something that maybe it's going to bring a lot more to your workload. Maybe you'll have to juggle your priorities more, set your schedule. But I feel like whatever this is, it's going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of enjoyment. I feel like this is something that you're, you're, you're very intelligent about. This is something that you know all about. You know how to do this, you know? Yeah, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So, yeah, this is something you definitely know how to do. You know how to work your magic in this situation. So whatever this is that you're pursuing, Sagittarius, Spirit is letting you know to get out and do it. 
Just take action. You've got the inspired thoughts with the King of Swords and you've got the Emperor. Just take your thoughts and take action. Just do it. And I feel like by taking action, action just getting moving is going to help you a ton. We have the Queen of Swords. So I feel like you you need to look at all your resources. You need to look at all the information so that you can make a proper decision on this. Um, but I feel like you, you have plenty of resources. You may not know it yet. All those resources may not have came about just yet, but they're going to become more clear. You're going to have more options than you do opportunities, you know? Um, and I feel like there's going to be a choice that you need to make. Definitely a choice that you need to make. Oh, I love this. We have the Two of Swords. So you definitely have a very big choice that's ahead of you. And it may be some kind of choice that may be hard for you to kind of come to a conclusion on. But I feel like with the judgment and the chariot and the moon, I feel like those choices are going to be more and more obvious as you kind of dive into your options. And I know it may not make sense now, but it will in the end. Because I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles, now you have... Look at this. You have the Queen of Swords right next to the Queen of Pen Pentacles. So whatever your resources are, they're going to be bountiful. They're going to be plenty. You know, um, the, the Queen of Pentacles, she's very resourceful, but she's also very intelligent, very solid, very stable. You know, she doesn't sway away. Or let her mind wander like sometimes the, the, the swords do. Because the swords deal with our thoughts. Um, the pinnacles deal with our more material world, our health, our family. You know, so I, I feel like your, your resources are becoming more stable. More, you're becoming more self-sufficient, you know. Oh, yes, definitely. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. This is definitely some kind of new job, new promotion, something that you've invested a lot of time in. This could be still love. Um, if it resonates, this could be love that you've invested a lot of time in. You found value in the situation. And we have the Nine of Wands. So, yeah, the Nine of Wands is all about protecting what it is that you're building protecting and defending um against any competition against any you know things that are gonna kind of invade what you're doing you know the the nine of wands is also about setting your boundaries but also being persistent not letting up keep yourself in the fight until it's complete you know, and I feel like there's definitely something in this in this reading that you need to complete. You need to stay in this in in the ring so that you can kind of win this this fight. You know what I'm saying? Because I I, I feel like this is something that's going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of abundance, and this is definitely going to bring you a lot of passion. And I feel like with the King of Wands and the Emperor and the the King of Swords. This is definitely, take your ideas, whatever ideas that you have, take your ideas and just set into action. Just do it. Whatever ideas you have, you know, just take action. It's going to work out in the end because spirit has your back, you know. Let's take a look at the moonology. Let's take a look at Moonology. Let's see what Moonology has to say. Wow, okay. Okay, your hard work is paying off. New Moon and Capricorn. Definitely. And we see that here. Your abundance is getting ready to flow in. 
if if you haven't seen the impact of what you are creating what you are doing you know you are going to see that progress in february Okay, we have a time to give rather than take. So there may be a need for you to give more of your time to the situation um, before the situation starts really giving back to you. But I, I feel like the more you put your energy into the situation, the more it's going to give back, the more overflow you're going to have. You're going to have more success, the more energy you put into this. Okay, a new start is coming. Definitely a new beginning. Definitely a new beginning. This is beautiful, Sagittarius. And we have it. Nothing will come of the situation. So I feel like those are the fears that you have, that nothing will come of your ideas. But Spirit is, is letting you know that your ideas nothing will come of them if you don't put them into action in order to gain clarity there has to be some action taken and i think spirit is letting you know to just take action take action you have a very good idea and we have last quarter moon in pisces talk less and feel more You've already done the thinking, Sagittarius. You've already thought this through. Now it's time for you to use your intuition and make your move. Don't just talk about it. Do it. And New Moon in Pisces, attune to the divine. Tap into your spiritual power and ask your angels for help. Your angels want to be there. They want to help you. And let's see, Two of Pentacles energy. We have find a balance. Yes, Libra, Libra energy, the justice. So, yeah, I feel like with the justice energy here, finding a balance, this is going to, once you set things in motion, the justice card is all about cause and effect. So whatever energy you put into something is what you're going to get back. It's kind of like a karmic energy. So if you put good energy into a situation, you're going to get good energy back. If you put bad energy into the situation, you're going to get bad energy back. So I feel like there needs to be a balance. There needs to be some kind of scale that's not tipping in one direction or another you want to balance the situation okay let's get let's get another deck of tarot we'll, we'll get a little bit more information for this for you sagittarius see what other messages do we have for sagittarius what will come of this situation give me more information for sagittarius the Queen of Swords. Yes, see, we have the Queen of Swords twice. You have your victory. You have your know-how. You will be self-sufficient, you know. Um, we got the Hangman. Yeah, enlightenment. You've made the sacrifice. You've gained the wisdom. Now, you know, and attune into this energy and maybe look at it from a different angle. Look at it from another perspective. Because I feel like whenever you're stuck in a situation, just take a look at this. Take a, take a look at the, at the ideas that you have, at whatever you have going on. And you are gaining your enlightenment, you know? You're just going with the flow of it. Very interesting. We 
We also have the King of Cups. So I feel like you poured a lot of emotion into this situation. And I feel like with the King of Cups energy, all of this is flowing back to you. You know, the King of Cups, he's very supportive. He's very empathetic to someone's needs. Look at this. He He's sitting on this island. And he's surrounded by all this choppy water. But he's not worried. Because he knows he's protected. He knows that he has the... Um, that he's supported. So I feel like, you know, with this King of Cups energy, I feel like using your intuition in this situation is going to give you the achievement that you need. This is achieving your goals, Sagittarius, and then moving into a whole new chapter. You've obtained your success. You've won the battle. You've completed your goal. You learned the lessons. You know, now the world card can also mean travel, but it definitely means something is coming to completion. Something is coming to completion and you're going to have this new beginning. And look at this. We have a new start is coming in the Moonology card. Hey, okay. And we have the devil. So I, I feel like with this devil card, I feel like you are releasing these blocks from your life. You are, you know, strong enough, wise enough to take care of the situation. Now, I, I feel like with this devil card, I feel like there is going to be envy. There is going to be someone who's greedy around you. So this this is something that you may want to be aware of. Because I feel like if you speak with someone about this success that you're obtaining, or, you know, whether this is business, whether this is career, whether this is love, take it how it resonates. But I feel like if you, if you speak to someone about this situation, I feel like they're going to be envious. They're going to wonder how you did it. And how they did not. You know. I feel like someone's being greedy. So that's that's something that you do want to be aware of. Okay. One more card for Sagittarius. The Hermit card. So yeah. With, with the World card. With the success coming in the Devil. I feel like you're kind of retreating within yourself. You're kind of keeping things to yourself. You're kind of building this. Uh, nine of wands energy you're defending you're protecting and i feel like you're kind of doing so to protect yourself but you're also doing so to kind of protect what you want to protect um the outcome that you're looking for I've, i feel like you're kind of holding that kind of close to you like you just don't want everyone to know what you're up to just yet you know you're kind of going within for clarity to find your spiritual truth, if that makes any sense to you. Okay, at the bottom, we have the death card again. So definitely, you are going through this beautiful transformation. You are going through this beautiful transformation, and you are beginning a new chapter in your life. Like I said, you're becoming the butterfly. You're breaking out of that cocoon, Sagittarius. And you're emerging the butterfly. Really beautiful energy. I feel like there's going to be a lot of changes that are going to start to unfold in February. And with now you have the death card twice. You also have happiness twice because we also have a ten of cups in here, you know. And so I, I feel like with this being double confirmation that big changes are coming forward for you. This is a rebirth in a way. You're starting a new chapter. Something is ending. It's becoming complete. And you're moving into this new chapter. 
this new era of Sagittarius. You know? Beautiful, beautiful energy. I'm really loving this. Okay, we're going to get one angel card. And then we're going to go ahead and close this reading. Okay, what does Sagittarius need to know, spirits? Focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high and expect the best possible outcome. Keep your thoughts, your actions, and your intentions pure and positive. At the bottom, we have divine alchemy. Move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. That's what, that's what we're saying. Look at this. Focused intention. Think about what you desire and set your, set your sights high. Expect the best positive outcome. Move beyond your current challenges and focus on what you desire. That's your message. That is your message. Yes, I'm loving that. Sagittarius, this is your reading. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. I'll have all the uploads completed by next week. And until your next reading, Sagittarius. Many blessings to you, love and light.